smoking this fine CB stub. Imported briar from Joe Man. Joe Man saying you thank you. Appreciate it. Hmm. Early custom built rustication style. So here's what Bill Unger has to say about CB stub. Now, interestingly, this is capital C, capital B, capital S, capital T, capital U, capital B, single B. In here, it's a CB, C, capital C period, capital B period, capital S, small t u b b so and we'll get down to the bottom here uh, it is stamped cb stub with the upper and lower case with the two b's so this is stamped a little differently <laughs> it's like Nothing authoritative. Although Unger is certainly the most authoritative of all. So he writes, CB Stub. The CB Stub line was apparently introduced in 1949, three years after Eugene Rich established his own company and began national distribution of the custom built line. What's New, a newsletter from June 1949, announced that a series of new style custom belts is on the way according to the national distributor for the custom belt pipe in New York. The general pattern is similar to the old custom belt, which found great popularity with smokers during the war, World War II. The overall surface is hand carved with no two pipes alike. A reduction in price of the new pipe is indicated. The custom-built saddle grain is the leader, followed by the regular custom-built, and finally the custom-built stub, with 1B, upper and lower case, which is smaller than the other two. The stub features a full-size bowl, thus giving a normal-length smoke, but the shank and stem are much shorter. Not really. The custom-built pipe factory is located in Indianapolis, Indiana. These pipes are much rarer, it seems, than many of the other custom-built lines. Hacker in 1999, page 161, includes a picture of one with the remark, notice the unique CB stub, again, upper and lower case with two Bs. I have found only one, he has an illustration of it, the bowl is just under two inches tall and is one and one eighth inches across, which is probably what this is too, very similar. The shank is 7 eighths inch long. Really? It looks longer than that. While the stem is 2 and 1 eighth inches. It is indeed a stub. And that is all he wrote about it. So that's all we know. So from 1949, uh, Eugene Rich from 1946 to 1952. So first comes what I'm calling the Custom Belt Pipe Company covering the years 1929 to 1938. Not much is known about this period and there is some question about the 1929 date. He goes into some discussion about it's probably 1934. Next comes custom built pipes, custom dash built pipes, Inc., covering the period November 1938 to April 1946. These are the years of the custom dash built hyphenated name. Some will consider them the glory years of Tracy Mincer's pipe making efforts. Then come the Eugene Rich custom built pipes from 1946 when uh, Eugene Rich became Tracy Mincher's distributor and the spelling was changed without the hyphen. Am I smoking? Yenna 
G Supreme in the Grand Oriental series. In the it's a nice, mild, Virginia-like tobacco. So, the big year, well, you know, it depends on the pipe you've got. Oh my gosh. So, uh, Eugene Rich Custom by Built Pipes, Inc., from 1946 to 52, when Mincer somehow lost the pipe altogether. These years saw an explosion of national advertising, increased production, and ancillary pipelines. This era was followed by the Rogers Imports, Inc. years from 1952 to the late 1950s or early 1960s. After some years of inactivity, the custom-built name was acquired by Wally Frank in the early 1970s. A new burst of activity occurred, followed by dwindling interest in decreased quality until the Wally Frank Company was closed for good in 1998. So that is kind of a summation of custom-built and how we have come to enjoy them, collect them, and appreciate that kind of unique rustication. Yeah. I have a number of BP jums, of which he doesn't, Bill Unger just doesn't even mention, really. Um, does talk about Roger's rarity, um, convertibles, his nibs, various other type of custom builds, um, the doodlers, Mr. Dobbs, I have a Mr. Dobbs, uh, Dr. Graybow's, other possible mincer produced types include Dr. Graybow's, Dr. Joe's, F.A. Clank, Huntley's, I did mention um, BP Jones at some point, but now of course I can't find it. Oh. Anyway, cool. moment of sunshine. Seems perfect to smell the pipe. I was raking some leaves, but it's a Sisyphean task, <laughs> given that they haven't all fallen. So maybe I'll just wait till they all fall. I did rake them up once before, so the thing is, especially the walnut leaves, um, get this big mat on the grass. And they're hard even to rake up. But, uh, yeah, soak it in. <laughs> 